Hey there, thinkers. Welcome back to another episode of Critical Hit. My name is S. And I'm Pin. And today we're going to be talking about something a little different. We're going to be talking about Gen Z. Oh, so Gen as you can Z. see on the screen, uh, Gen Z workers say they should be hired for their personalities, not productivity. We set the vibes. Okay. Vibes? There is no vibes. They, the only vibes they set is cringe. Well, let's get into it. So this is from the New York Post. The personality hire is humorous, witty mood booster who delivers the fun factor in the office. Yay. So what you're telling me is that's the corporate cheerleader. According to the youngest generation in the workforce, their humor and wit provides a certain vibrance older employees apparently lack. Oh the my gosh, nothing would piss me off more if I had some like teeny bopper 19 year old come up at me and say like, oh my gosh, you can do it, keep doing it, keep working, you got this. And like, don't worry, we got that meeting at 10. Don't worry, keep going. I'd be livid. <laughs> yeah, I, I was an officer in the military and I gotta tell you, that's what they used to, <laughs> oh my if God. you really wanted to insult an officer, that's what you said an officer did kind of thing. Right? And that's, you know, I, I work with a lot of Gen Zers and it's a very unaffordable time to be entering adulthood for them. And I have a lot of sympathy for their generation coming up into something that, you know, wasn't necessarily caused by them. Uh, no, that's that's what I want to say positive about Gen Z. Now, I work with Gen Zers, and I guess the best way I can describe them is kind of like whiny, entitled a little bit. Um, if you ask them to do something, it's always a, why do I have to do this? They're prickly. They don't want to do anything. They want to do the bare minimum of what they can do. And then they're just like, they whine about having to do so much work when they just did everything they possibly could do to postpone it to the very last minute. Now that's not everyone. It's unfair to put everyone in one category, of course. That's not everyone, but- They do it. They call us all old and lazy. The, the majority, uh, for sure, definitely have a certain appeal to them. Uh, dis disappeal? What's 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 the word I'm looking for? Irritating? They're, they can be. Like I said, not everyone, but they all have their own uh, opinions. I guess the best way I can describe it is I, I have a lot of, I don't know, philosophical conversations. And usually it's, it's always Gen Zers that want to get involved in that conversation. And I would say the majority of them usually talk to me and have some kind of very pro I, th I want to say they think they're libertarian, probably closer to anarchistic views. And you, you talk to them about it and, uh, you know, just simple things like, you know, what is liberty to, to you? And they're like, you know, freedom to do whatever I want, whatever. I said, okay. But if I have security, so if I want to leave my house and go to work, if I have security come over uh, or a police station nearby that's going to protect my house while I'm gone, doesn't that make me more free overall? You know, just little things like that. None of them get the grasp the concept. <laughs> It's all these uh, higher educated people now, of course. Well, no, because Gen Z really don't have any sort of personal effects like that. They don't have a home, really. They don't have a family. They don't have things that they need to protect and have when Not they yet. get back. No, but they don't understand that because they don't have that yet. So once they do grow up, <laughs> they do eventually get those. So are you trying to say youth is ignorant? Yes, absolutely. Right. It's very much ignorance. <laughs> No, I and you know what, I don't, like I said, I don't want to hate on Gen Z's, but I think this is absolutely ridiculous, because what is a personality hire? So it's I, the diversity hires. So I just want to get more into our, what the article describes it real quick. So they've invented a term, the personality hire, to describe their self-perceived function in corporate settings. They provide all the jokes, of course, the banter, playfulness, leaded in order to set the vibes. A TikToker in corporate America employee Bella Rose Mortel a 22-year-old self-proclaimed chief vibes officer told Business Insider that her previous managers have appreciated her energy, calling it the nicest compliment she's received. That is not a very great compliment. Wow, I'm sorry, but being likable is not good enough for a paycheck. Like the nerve and the narcissistic attitude that when you think that all you need to do is just give yourself and that's just good enough. You know what? There was a big boom in the economy back in 2020. It was driven by incredibly low interest rates and every central bank was printing money and putting money into bonds. So if you were a venture capitalist, it was so easy to get your money, uh, hands on money because liquidity was everywhere and they were looking to give money everywhere. Where was the biggest place to put money into? Tech, tech industry. So you got the Facebooks, you got the Microsofts, you got the Googles, all wanting to consolidate and take these people on. Uh, and then what happened in 2022? And it started, yeah. uh, I would, I, you know, I, I want to say a recession hit in 2022. I think it's still coming in 2024. Um, but what happened in 2022, 2024 was that we saw people think a recession was coming. 
and they started laying off all these people. And who were the first to go? Um, yeah. Personality hires. The coffee machine. The people that didn't do anything. <laughs> you need to be productive. You do need to be productive. And it's honestly just tragic how they are not putting in the effort to be productive. They're just going there to be the chief vibes officer. <laughs> that, not all of them, but the people who go there and say my nicest compliment. I'm talking about the people that nice were energy. doing this article right now. Yeah, okay, I'm not talking enough. about all the Gen Zs. I am just talking about the ones who are literally aspiring to be the chief vibes officer. Like, it's such <laughs> a good on. career. I don't know how much. How much does that pay anyways? 60, um, 9, 100? Okay, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, followers as well. There you go. Remember when Google had all those people putting like their daily routine up on TikTok? And it was a like this... in the life at Google. Like, yeah, and, and this they were is doing nothing. Getting my coffee. <laughs> they did nothing all day. As long. I wait for my 10 a.m. appointment. <laughs> but you know what I've seen from from Gen Zers that this doesn't really hit on the chief vibes officer is most of them actually don't have these vibes. I would say most of them are yeah. very withdrawn compared to everyone else. They at the are. Office. They are, and they're always like very awful. Like as soon as you ask them to do anything or to move or if you obstruct their vision of some sort of their phone. You will be the worst person in the world and you'll get the worst like side eye <laughs> from any person and be like, excuse me? Yeah, they can get, uh, well, get a little carried away. Carry on more into the article, of course. Talk about what they're talking about here. After her series of TikToks calling for an unserious workplace integration of Gen Z lingo into office, pa office parlance went viral. Mortel said her manager at software company Beehive found the videos hilarious. Okay, so that's like the problem. So Gen Z thinks that stumping older generations on their Gen Z lingo is their kind of idea of humor. And ugh, it's so how they talk in like these TikTok quotes and these TikTok dances and all these things. And they're just like, well, because TikTok is full of such misinformation. Oh, uh, we're millennials. Are they gonna <laughs> come up with a saying for us? Like, okay, boomer, I don't want to say. And no, they, they call us the ancients. The ancients okay? already. And Holy we were smokes. born in the 1900s. Oh my goodness, we were. <laughs> that is so true. You're spot on with that. I wish I could go back and meet some of my ancestors. They're so witty. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> You're like eight, kid. In a team call yesterday, he was like, before we started, Bella Ross, Bella Rose, her name's Rose, not Ross. Do you want to set the vibes today for our call? And the social media strategist told Business Insider, yeah, she's so useful, setting the vibes. Oh yeah. Let's be playful, let's be cheerful. You know what's crazy? All this money's drying up and they're just, they're all gonna be fired. It's amazing. I think they're trying to justify themselves as here in the workforce. I think they're trying to bring inappropriate behavior to the workplace and people who are professionals like millennials and like gen like boomers and all them, they're like, we don't have time for your shit. I completely disagree. I think that they are the most touchy generation so far of any. Now this could be a trend where the next generation gets even more touchy. I remember when the boomers are complaining about millennials being like, whoa, what's up with these guys? And when they get canceled and lose their thousands of followers and go into depression. It's, but imagine growing up in a period of social media where everything's looked at, everything's watched. Remember in high school when you got beat up by a girl? I'm speaking, of course, theoretically. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I totally, get... <laughs> yeah, I get it. Absolutely. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Continue. You know, and at the time, that happens. It's done over and forgotten yeah. afterwards. But now it would happen. And let's say it happened and it gets video recorded, it gets posted to social media. It's there forever. It follows you around for the rest of your life. That's a pretty mm -hmm. scary concept. Speaking hypothetically, of course, in these scenarios. Yeah, absolutely. Totally. <laughs> Completely. I'm just joking. We don't even know who is a girl anymore. <laughs> bad <laughs> but, but uh yeah they bring lots of uh, they kind of lighten up the mood do you know what's crazy here every stock has been dropping in the last couple of years of course everyone thought a recession was coming and it is coming next year they'll never convince me otherwise it's coming so they started laying off all these people because investors were more focused on who was making mm -hmm. money over what growth was or anything you know over growth over uh products coming down the pipeline over whatever it was didn't matter anymore it was your bottom line mattered the most yeah we're starting to get away from that a little bit because honestly as soon as recession hit usually stocks rally and maybe we're in one because the stocks been rallying significantly over the past year who knows <laughs> i still think it's next year but the main theme here is these people were seen as you know fun when there was money a plentiful money out there oh yeah absolutely now that there's not i don't even want to say they were seemed as fun the, the money was there to at least support them now there's nothing. Now there's no money and they're, they're all going to be fired because n no one cares about how nice you are. Well, that's not true. 
But I'll, I'll tell you this: you I've worked can with be guys. Nice and still put in effort and still be a productive human to your company. You should know how to do your job. You should know how to do your job and able able to do your job. You should have a job <laughs> that creates productivity. Exactly. And creates value for the company. Mm -hmm. And value for the company. I mean, why don't you just get a psychiatrist at every office? I don't think that would help. Actually, I think that would make everyone that worse. So much worse. Everyone would be diagnosed with some kind of depressive disorder to keep them on. It would, uh, that's a self-perpetuating cycle of needing more therapists. I can already see that go going down. Go cry in the broom closet like every other person has done over the course of 90 years. We have safe spaces now, stop. <laughs> so bad. Get serious. Anyways, I have accepted that I am being hired to bring the energy. Being the personality hire is really fun. I love lightening the mood for one viewer. How do you get jobs doing this? This is crazy. Being a personality hire is a uh, tough work, but someone's got to do it. The anonymous face behind the official Microsoft 365 account commented. Uh, there's a good sense of humor for you, Microsoft. Hmm. Another content creator. Why are we talking about content creators? Yeah, of course. They all think it's very valuable because that's what they do. Okay, Jester, go and juggle my balls for me. I think they called juggling balls. Well, that's it then. Yeah. But in the video which scored over 6.5 million views, the personality hire plays with her colleague's hair despite having no idea what a certain project is about. Fearlessly volunteers to call the terrifying boss and sweet talk him into an extension. This is, uh, that's ridiculous. See, that one, pretty privilege. Two, that is uh, obviously, that's a girl because there's no way that a guy would have sweet talk to their boss. I'm not going to. No. The terrifying boss. Mm -hmm. Terrifying boss. Like, oh my God. And I, I would say absolutely boomers are the worst bosses to work for. I like to play a game where we treat everyone as adults. Mm -hmm. And if you treat people like adults, you treat them with respect, just let people enjoy being there. But the worst people to have in the office ever are the people that are really touchy about every single thing you say. The people who, when Pander you say, me. well, when you say, hey guys, can we get this done? And they say, guys is not socially acceptable. It's not inclusive. You have to use this terminology. And it's like, we shouldn't be making the language more difficult to communicate because I just want to communicate with you effectively. Cool. If you're making my language more difficult, you're already reducing the efficiency of the office which is why I don't really want you there anymore. Well, just wait, because now you'll get like TikTok lingo and like TikTok quotes, and they'll be talking in like gestures. Like, how you doing today? How you doing? <laughs> like, look what I can do from the, like that SNL skit. This is, this is where you finger flick or whatever instead of clap, right? Because Yeah, exactly. This is a crazy new trend, the personality hire. I don't think it's gonna last. No. I, we're already seeing labor uh, shortages across the board. I don't think the companies have the opportunity to do this because it's taking away labor from other areas and we need labor in the market and personality hire maybe they're more useful being a waiter or waitress down at the restaurant <laughs> you get good tips Possibly. i hear you get good yes. tips and you know what you talk to people and your personality pays off that can it directly does. correlate to a good tip exactly that's, that's all i got do anything else no i have nothing else to say but if you guys made it this far please do like and subscribe so you know when our next video is released Thanks for sticking with us. Leave us your thoughts down in the comments. And uh, you know what? Like I said before, Esta's the one editing now. So if you like her editing, let her know. Uh, I have a direct interest in you preferring her editing over mine because it saves me all the time of the day. Much appreciated. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with us, guys. And we will see you in the next video. Toodles. Bye, guys.